Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I have 15 sales for you, uh, 10 eBay and 5 Amazon. So without further ado, I shall get on with the sales update. Um, hopefully the light's alright as well, just to mention. Um, it's getting dark now, but I thought it's probably a good thing to do the video now to sort of test how the camera is um, when it's a little bit darker. I do have the light on, so that should help a little bit. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's get on with it. Uh, first sale I'm going to share with you is this Lego mini, uh, not mini, little robots minifigure bundle. Um, there's actually two of these, so I'll put both screenshots up, at, you know, one after the other. Um, and I sold each of those for £20 plus postage. So two single minifigures, I got £20, £20 plus postage for. Um, and there's still one bundle to go that, you know, that's listed. Um, I bought them for £6.99. Uh, that was included in an actual set. I sold the set without any minifigures and I cleared my money back. So all of that £40 plus postage is profit. Well, after fees and postage, obviously. Um, but yeah, all of that is profit. So awesome on that. That really, really good result. And they went within maybe... Oh, it must have only been about three weeks ago I actually got that set. So, yeah, it must be within three weeks. So, pretty good, you know, on the first cycle anyway. Um, next was this camping gas cooler. Um, and I got £13 plus PMP. I bought that in a job lot that cost me 10 quid, And I sold, I had in the job lot like a brass, oh, what was it, like a ladle thing, I don't know, like for brandy or something, I, I don't know, it was some sort of ladle anyway, I can't remember now, um, but I sold that for a tenner, so I sold that for a tenner, I sold this for £13 plus postage, so that's like sort of brought me in profit, and then there's a few other bits and bobs in that job lot that are still listed. Um, I sold the Toy Story Buzz Lightyear outfit, if you watched Thursday Talks a couple of weeks back, um, or maybe even just like a week ago. I think it was, wasn't this week's episode, but last week's episode, so, yeah, probably like a week and a half ago. Um, I picked up this outfit for 50p, listed it fairly soon after that episode, it might have been on the Thursday or the Friday, and I got £13, yeah, yeah, £13, I, I'm reading the wrong one there, yeah, £13 including PMP, I nearly said £13 plus PMP, but yeah, £13 including PMP, so... From 50p, that's fine, you know, that's a nice, easy, quick turnaround. Um, I sold this job lot of Lego figures for £50, 50 pounds plus PMP. Um, nice little sale there. Um, I just wanted rid of them. So, a while back when I was doing this rework thing in January, um, I had a real, real sort out of the minifigures and... I stuck them on for 50 quid, well, 60 quid plus PMP, brought it down to 50 quid, and after a few weeks, they sold. So, yeah, can't complain with that one. Probably cost me in the region of 10 to 15 pounds. It's hard to say because some of those figures were from job lots that I've already, you know, I'm already in profit on. Others were bought individually or in little job lots. But I, I've worked out that it wouldn't have cost me more than 15 quid. So, you know, 15 quid into £50 plus postage, I'll take that any day. So, yeah, that was great. Um, next, I sold a Sony PSP. This was really cool. It was like a custom one. It was like custom uh, built or custom made with like the black and the white. Um, and I got £45 plus postage on that. I bought it in a job lot for 35 quid with a load of other games. I think there's like cat Crash Tag Team Racing in there. There was a Tekken game in there, Twisted Metal, uh, oh, there's loads of other games. There's about 15 or something in total of games um, that obviously will all get me more money back on the job lot. Um, but that's cleared my money in the job lot anyway. So, yeah, that's cleared my money and then the games will be profit. Um, 
I saw this uh, glass bottle, I think it was a Wassy's Reliable one, I've not actually wrote that down, but I think it was a Wassy's Reliable one, um, either like Victorian or Edwardian, I think it was more Edwardian, um, and I got £13 plus PMP for that. You may remember if you've, you've followed my channel for a while that I picked up a fair few bottles from a charity shop um, and I paid £1.29 for the smaller ones, £1.79 for the larger ones. Um, and that was one of the smaller ones, so I paid £1.29 for that. And as I say, got £13 plus postage, so can't complain there. That was a slower seller. Some of the other bottles went fairly quickly, but that one took a while to go. But, you know, I'm happy to wait on something like that. Um, next was this Disney Princess set, I can't remember which one, I've not wrote it down, but you'll be able to see it there. Um, and I got £15 plus P&P for that, nice bread and butter sale, and I uh, uh, bought that for one fifty. Lost my trail of thought then, but I bought that for one fifty. so yeah, happy with that one. It was actually tucked away under a clothing rail in a charity shop, and no one could see it, but I just sort of... I got this glimpse of the box and I thought, oh, I, I, I know what those could sort of boxes look like. So I pulled it out and thought, oh, yeah, it's a Lego box. That's what it is. Um, and, yeah, I, I saw the price, 150 I was like, yeah, I'm having that. Checked it. I think, yeah, it was missing one 2x2 two two white, like, tile. Uh, not tile, plate, sorry, because tiles are the, the ones with no studs on. Um, but it was like a 2x2 two two white plate. Um, but yeah, still sold for that. I didn't even think about um, buying the missing part for it. I should have maybe bought the missing part, but I don't know whether it would have added too much value. So I did sell it without, uh, you know, with that part missing. Um, but yeah, still it had no trouble shifting anyway. Uh, next was this Royal Scott Throw or like blanket. Uh, really cool this one, worth looking out for, the 100% wool ones and the thicker ones do really well. Um, this one wasn't as good, you know, this one wasn't a real authentic, thick, you know, big, nice one. Um, but it's still, you know, £15 plus postage, bought it for three quid. again, nice little bread and butter sale there. Um, and yeah, I would say it went within... I don't know, two or three buy it now cycles, which is 30 days, so, you know, one cycle being 30 days, so maybe 60 to 90 days that went in, so a few weeks, you know, nothing nothing terrible. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's that one, and then finally was this vintage parasol that I picked up maybe a month ago, something like that, it was probably on for one, actually, yeah, it was actually coming to the end of its first cycle today, and then someone bought it, so... Yeah, that went within one cycle, and I got £20 plus postage. Not an amazing sale from £5 cost, um, but I just wanted to pick it up. It was one of them cool items that you like, you know, when you see, you want to pick up. So, yeah, I bought that one anyway. So, now we will get on to the Amazon section of the sales. So, I shall just um, flip my paper over, because here's the Amazon sales. So I've got five Amazon sales to show you, um, you know, some mediocre ones, there's nothing been outstanding on Amazon, but there's been a couple of sort of fairly higher value ones, so, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, first off was this Sony PS2 console, the one that I actually got in the uh, 50 charity shops haul, and I bought that for 9 99 and I sold that for £45. That's with no controller or anything, that was just the PS2 console with the wires, no controller, so that cost me 9 99 and I sold the red controller on eBay as well for 20 quid, so, uh, so yeah, I've made like 65 quid off that 10 pound uh, cost, obviously we've got fees and postage to account for on that, um, but yeah, so happy with that, from 10 quid, 45 quid, yeah, happy there. Uh, next was this Harry Potter polybag, Lego polybag, 17.79. Bought a job lot of these off eBay, I think there was 10 in the job lot, no, 12 in the job lot. Paid £5 each on average, you know, working out the average cost, breaking it down. Um, and, yeah, sh I'm shifting them for 17 79 a time. I've sold one a day consistently for the last few days since the shipment went live. So, yeah, I mean, it's not the, it's not the best profit. But if you're shifting them, you know, one a day, maybe two a day, that sort of volume, or maybe even a lot more than that, 
Um, but if you're shifting them, you know, at least one a day, then it's not too bad taking a smaller profit. Like, what if I made on that? Maybe five, six quid profit, maybe slightly more. But, you know, not it's not a fantastic profit, maybe doubling my money. Um, but certainly, if we're going one a day, you know, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, that's that one. Uh, Beyblade Stomper. Yeah, that's right. I, I didn't think I pronounced that right then, but yeah. Beyblade Stomper. Uh, brand new in the packet, 19.99 I got from that, and I believe I paid five quid, but I can't remember. It was either it was either 2.99 or 4.99. I remember the charity shop I got it in. I know the manager quite well. I know what she would have priced it at, and it would have either been 2.99 or 4.99. I just can't remember which one I paid. Um, but yeah, one of them anyway. So you know, okay profit, nothing mega, but you know, nice little profit in that. Um, next was this, if this was uh, from a few weeks ago, but I didn't include it in my last sales update because uh, I completely skipped over it. I didn't even know I'd sold it. Um, and it's an official Harry Potter uh, wand accessory pack, like wand and glasses accessory pack. And I bought that for $1.99 just before Christmas and I got $12.99. Um, yeah, round about now. So, you know, it was a bit of a slower one that. I was hoping that would have gone a bit quicker. Um, but still, it went, so I'm happy, um, and again, you know, a clear fiver in that profit, so I'm happy with that as well. Uh, next was a Nintendo DS Lite, the white handheld console, for 50 quid, I sold that for, really happy with that one. I bought it in a little job lot for 15 quid, the job lot didn't have much else in, it had a couple of games in, it had a DS case. Um, I'd probably make maybe 10, 15 quid on the, on the other things in the job lot. But yeah, still 50 quid from that. That clears my money and gets me profit in the job lot. And whatever those other little things in the job lot go for, you know, that's fair enough. Whatever we go for, we go for. So yeah, that is the sales I'm going to show you today. Hope you enjoyed this slightly longer edition of um, my sales update. Um, I'm thinking of doing maybe this sort of style from now on, you know, maybe the 15 sales rather than the 10, because a lot of you did identify in Thursday Talks yesterday that you would like slightly longer sales updates and slightly longer hauls and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to try it, see how it goes. If everyone likes it and stuff, um, then, then that's great. So show me if you like it by giving it a big thumbs up, and that will indicate to me whether you like the 15 minutes or the 10 minutes. Um, but as I say, a lot of people did say they like the 15 minute videos. I know I'm not going to please everyone, but if I can please the majority of people with it, then I'm happy. So, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, I will see you soon, guys. Bye for now.